Hello everybody, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make this pixel shader effect. So we have just a uh, pixel, well, just a texture and we just drag it like this and we get the pixel effect on the texture. <clears throat> so it's actually not that super complicated, so we're going to make it. And also it works with um, um, alpha, so maybe you have some Something like this, and you want it to be a little bit more pixelated, one reason or another, I don't know, then you can do it. Cool, so let's get started. So we're gonna go into an empty scene and do it from scratch. So we're gonna start with making a shader and we're gonna use lit shader graph. So it's gonna be pixel effect, no, I'm actually gonna do Put my name like this. All right, and we're going to have a um, material like this. And we're going to have our quad. And I'm going to make sure it's bigger and it's going to be in the center. This is perfect. So Put the material on and dive into the shader. <clears throat> so what we need, we need first off a texture that we're going to use. We're going to have a main texture. And this one going to go into a texture sample texture 2D. We're actually going to change this one later. But I, I wanted to do it this way because then you know why you need to change it. So you remember it. So this is kind of, um, let's see, we're going to add here the orange cat. So here we see it and we're going to work with the UV space to make this happen. What we're going to do, we're going to just with this one, first I'm going to split and then I'm going to do a vector two. And you could skip this step, but I will show you why I want to do this. And we're going to have an integer. So let's say we want pixel to be 10 pixel by 10 pixel on this one, right? So if we do, let's do like this preview. So the value on this one is from zero and up to one. And obviously, if we do a multiply, and I do a split here too, and just making like this instead. So if we multiply by 10, now it's from 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, right? And if we, with these values, do a floor, it basically just make it always 1, 2, 3, and you don't have 1.1. Or, so let's say you have a value of 0 0.3, you clamp it down to 0. So you can have floor, right? So if we put this one in, you can see this. Here is 0, and here is 1, and here is 2. And um, if you do divide with the same amount here, you put this one into split. You see, now it's 0, 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, up to 1. So by doing this, we actually made a pixel shader like this. So it looks good. And it does look good here, but if I change this uh, integer value, whoops, you, you will see like 11, you start to see these kind of lines, or if I do 15, you see there is some artifacts here, right? And you can solve this by just doing a texture load. Um, let's see, sample texture 2D load. So you see the difference here, right? Sample texture, sample texture 2D load. So if we just take this one instead, and you see, you see the difference, right? So that's why 
you're not using the original one, you use the Lord one. And you put it in like this. And here we have it. So it's kind of, we are going to remove this part now, but um, so the, it's kind of a hard number to work on. So we want it to have a, we want, we want a slider for this. So we're going to make a slow uh, float and it's going to be pixelated. <clears throat> and we're going to have it from zero to one. So in order to make this one to an integer, we're going to first off, first off, we're going to assume that all the textures we are using is always squared. So it's, uh, in this case, this picture is uh, 1024 times 1024. And so we go with that. And if we do sample texture, no, what's the name? Is it texture um, texture size it is okay. So what we want to do here, we can find we can read the value 1024. So and we want zero uh, this peak zero to one here represent the value from the minimum value to the to the width maximum. So if we do four here. Let's say this is the smallest amount that we want to have. So then we just do a remap. And the input going to be between zero and one. So zero and one going to be the input minimax. And we're going to have a vector two here. So we're going to have the minimum going to be four pixels. That's what we have here. So this is the minimum result you can have. And also the maximum is going to be uh, 1024. So by doing this setup, and also let's see, yeah, we can leave it for that now. And I'm going to do like this, like I'm going to do a pre preview, just do this. Because I, I wanted the line to be a little bit more organized. I don't want it to be like this. So that's why you see it like that. And now if we save and go out and test this one. So we need to make sure that we have um, a texture. And here you have it. And it's not working. So I need to check what's going on. Let's see, we have, um, and the reason why it's not working is because the texture size doesn't know what kind of texture to look into. So we just need to take the main texture and plug it into here. So now it should be working. So this is the max and we drag here and you see it's uh, get pixelated and if you look at the values here, it's zero and up here it's one. Here you see we can, we have to drag a lot before we get some result. But down here it's super sensitive, right? So what we have at the moment here, zero to one, is equal to this one. So if we look at uh, this square over here you see here it's zero and it goes up to one so when the value is 0 0.5 we will get 0 0.5 value but if you use the power power node you will actually get this in the beginning we won't get this fast um fast transition it will be a little bit slower in the beginning and then get faster and faster and if we do the power node with free, you see it takes a lot of time in the beginning before it starts to give effect. And the reason I show you this is because we're going to add it. So at the moment we have the red one here, the first line. So it just go linear towards, but we're going to make the green one instead. 
So when it's gonna take longer time on the slide before it starts to do this kind of transition. So, so here it is, the slider, this one is over here. We just put it through a power node like this. Now I make it to free. Of course you can just change it if you want it to be even more stronger. So I save it and now we can drag in the beginning here and you can see it's more easier to see some, it's easier to control. So that's super nice. So um, let's see, is there anything else here? Mm. So there's one thing that I don't like. So when I drag here, you can kind of see here, you see the pixels are kind of, uh, oh, it's a kind of uh, not a whole pixel here. It doesn't look completely correct, right? So I want to do here, and we're actually going to do a floor because now the value is between zero, no, between four and 1024. But it can actually be like 10, 15 or 10.7. So I want to do a floor to always make sure it's whole numbers. So if you look here, uh, we have this value here, right? You see the pix pixels are not, it's kind of chopped off, right? So if we do add this floor and we do save, now you see the, the pixels are always unified like this. Okay, I like that better. It looks better. So we're going to use that instead. And also the last part, um, plug in the alpha. Now we're going to add, we're going to do like this. I want the um, uh, transparent. So we do the alpha, save asset. And now it should work with some kind of branch texture as well. Super cool. So it's really cool and easy. And this is how it works. So yeah, this is it. And you see here the this pink, I guess it's pink, not purple, but this is pink, right? And you see here they are green, 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 right? But if I remove these ones and do like this, you see it's pink, 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 and then it, it gets transformed to green. So the reason I put this one here is because now there is uh, four values going into the multiplier and four values going into the floor and four values going into the divide. So by doing this, it's only two values going into the multiplier and then it gets more then we don't do more calculation than needed because it's, then we can save it to other parts in the game. So that's why I do this kind of split vector two thing. And yeah, I really hope you like it. It's a really easy and a fun thing to do. So thank you so much for watching.